Hey everybody, it's Emily at Arc Schooling, and today I have the Build Your Library Family Reading Crate October unboxing. theme was books that go bump in the night. So it's all Halloween spooky books. It's a lot of fun. I had so much fun putting this together. I love horror. It's one of my favorite genres to read. So let's get into what's inside this box. So first every box comes with a booklet and this gives you discussion questions and ideas and topic starters and things to take the book the books in the box further so that you can turn it into a unit study if you want. It also includes a link to our website where you can find free printables, more recommendations for books and movies and helpful links, all kinds of good stuff. So it's just another way to take it further. You also get bookmarks, of course, and this month my son, again, is the artist who did the bookmarks. And this is the one side. And if you follow us on Facebook, you've seen these because they're so cute. Like, I just, I have to share. So that's the bookmark. And you also get a Build Your Library bookmark. And the fun item, and I really, after I did it, I thought, I hope I don't scare people. Because <laughs> I know that would freak me out if I opened the box and saw this. But I added some just fun little spider rings. So I know that, you know, if you've got a fear of spiders and you open the box and the first thing you see are little black spiders all over the grass, that could be a little bit scary, but you know, they're not real. So, <laughs> so I hope everyone's okay and I didn't scare anybody, but they're just little, little spider rings. And now let's get into the books. So you get four books and a sticker activity book this month. So the picture book is A Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything by Linda Williams. And this is just one of those really cute, fun books to read in October. It's a classic. It's a little old lady walking home in the dark and things are spooky, but it's, it's more silly than scary. And it's just adorable. I read this with my youngest and she thought it was hilarious so I hope I hope your children like this and then I found this awesome sticker book I don't know about your kids but mine love stickers and this is just super fun 2,000 stickers and they're all spooky and it's a really well put together book so I thought this was great it's a nice fun activity book full of stickers for your children to play with in October the family read aloud this month is The Peculiar Incident on Shady Street by Lindsay Curry. And this book was so perfect for this time of year. It's, it's not scary so much as it's atmospheric. It has a really great October, fall, spooky atmosphere. And I just, I loved it. This is a story about a girl who moves to Chicago. And they move into this creepy old house. And she believes the house is haunted, but no one else believes her at first. And so she sets out to find out why her house is haunted and what is causing the haunting. And it's it's got a little bit of a historical element. And it's just, it's a really great story about a girl who is to adjust to a big life change and make new friends and deal with a haunting in her house. <laughs> it's really fun and I hope you guys enjoy it. The book I've included for teens is Nightfall by Jake Halpern and Peter Kujawinski. I had this book already. I've, I've owned this book for probably about three or four years and I hadn't picked it up yet. And I kept saying, oh, this is the, this is the year I'm going to read Nightfall and it just hadn't happened. And so I decided this was the year I was going to read Nightfall and I did and I loved it and I wanted it in this box. This is a fantasy book. And it takes place on this island where for 14 years they have constant daylight and then the sun starts to set and then 14 years of night. And there's this unspoken rule that you cannot be on the island at night. Everyone has to leave. They have to do all these weird ritualistic things where they have to prepare the island before they can leave. And... Nobody will answer these teens' questions about why they have to do it. It's just a thing you do. 
and so they don't take it that seriously until they get left behind on the island and discover why you have to leave and why you have to set things up a certain way. It's really, it was really interesting. I loved the characters. I loved the twists that came about in the story. And I just, I loved the story. It was really fun to read. It's, again, more atmospheric than scary, although there are a few moments in the story that were like horror and a little bit more creepy than not. And, but yeah, overall it was more of an atmospheric, ominous story. And then the book that I have included for you, the parent, is Black Mad Wheel by Josh Mallerman. I read Bird Box last year, and I loved it. And I kept saying I was going to read more of Josh Mallerman's books, but I just hadn't had a chance to do that. And then I decided to pick this one up as a potential for this crate, because I'm like, well, it's Josh Mallerman. I know I'm going to like it. I love Bird Box. And I was right. This book was really, really good. This, again, Bird Box is sort of one of those sensory books where in that book you can't see outside, so you're blindfolded and you have to, like, sense everything with your all your other senses. And in this book, it's about this ominous, malevolent, evil sound. That they're, they're hearing the sound in the, the desert in Africa, and they don't know what's causing it. They don't know who's, in, who's making the sound. They believe it's a weapon because it can disarm weapons. So they think it's some sort of a nuclear weapon of some sort that can, it could cause a lot of damage. And so they send these, this band out to the desert to find out what's happening. Because they think that these guys are musicians, they know music, they know sound. They'll be able to find it and detect it and help the government to figure out what's causing it and this it's just such an ominous like dark heavy read like it's not scary but you feel like there's just this oppressive like force causing this thing to happen and you don't know what it is and it's just it gives it such a great creepiness and his josh mallerman's writing is fantastic i highly recommend you pick up his other books so those are the books you get in the october crate i'm so excited about this box i i again i love horror i just this month is like one of my favorite times of year all the creepy stuff watching all the horror movies putting out all the decorations this is my like my new little Halloween corner <laughs> for filming videos this month. I find I just I love all this. It makes me happy. And I hope I'll see you guys next month for our November crate, which is the Gilded Age. We're diving into some historical fiction because I don't know, November and historical fiction to me just seems to be a thing that goes together. I don't know why. I just November and history. I, so I hope you guys will have fun with that crate. Thanks for watching. I'll leave all the information for the crates down below in the description box so that if you want, you can buy yourself an October crate. We still have some. So go ahead and order if you are interested. And I will see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.